Hello friends, my name is Taufiq and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how we can create a soda can mockup in Photoshop and it's very easy to create. So let's get started. So first I have downloaded this uh, image from freepick.com. You can simply go to freepick.com and search for soda can. You will get this image easily. So this is one of the first results. So I chose this one. So as you can see, uh, this image has two types of cans. So first is a plain one and second can has some dew on it. So we will use both the cans and try to create a very realistic mockup. So I'm going to use this design that uh, I had created for a client. This is this design was created for an energy drink. So we will going to use this design. So first of all, I'm going to select both the cans. So first I'll try with this can with the dew so I'm going to use the quick selection tool you can use any tool that you feel comfortable with so simply select the can and I don't want this area so I'll press alt key and if you're using Mac then option key and to subtract you can simply use this subtract option from here from control panel or you can simply press and hold alt or option key and left click to remove the unwanted area so this is the area that i want so simply press ctrl j or command j to duplicate the selected area so we will get the selected area duplicated now again i am going to select the second can which is the plain one so this looks perfect so ctrl j again to duplicate this as you can see so both the cans are ready now so we are going to use this design as mockup. So I'll drag this design onto the can itself. So like this and just to keep it simple, I will hide this can first, this can, this one over here, as you can see, this can. So I'll hide this. So it makes it that simple to work on single can first. So what I'll do is I will copy this can one more time control J so duplicate this can and put it on top of this image so it will be like this so this is on top this is in the middle and the uh, one more can this is at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blending options first before that I'm going to resize the design accordingly so like this you can resize it as per your liking. Now I'm going to select the upper layer and I'm going to change the blending option. So maybe multiply or linear burn. So linear burn looks a bit darker and multiply looks a bit lighter. So for this particular can, I will keep multiply and I will right click on this one, this one, right click and create clipping mask. So this will only be seen on this area of the can so remember to clip it so this is how it looks now this as you can see this looks pretty realistic as you can see the dew as well so this is looking pretty realistic to me now uh, coming back to the second before that I'm going to group this select this so press and hold control or command if you are using Mac and select all this and I'm going to convert this into a group and I will keep it at the bottom so I will turn this on now as you can see this is on now again I'm I need this one so I will control J again and I will take this so again control J keep one can at the top one can at the bottom and the design at the center so I will move this design over here this looks good to me now again select the top layer of the can and again change the blending option so for this particular example I'm going to uh, keep linear burn so that we can see the difference between the two cans again right click clipping mask or you can simply press and hold alt key or option key and uh, click in between the layers so it will clip it will be clipped the layer will be clipped so right click clipping mask so as you can see this is already looking realistic again I will make this 
into a group control G or command G or you can simply click over here so as you can see this is the original and this is what we have created we have created a realistic looking soda can mock-up so this is as easy as it can get to create a soda can mock-up so do try this out and let me know in the comment section that how your results are so i hope you find this video useful if you do please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers